Alright, so sorry for the mess, but I'm going to show you guys how to install JB Sorcery. This is their version 2.1 for the GSM Galaxy Nexus. This may be available for um, like the Toro, which is the Verizon, and the Toro Plus, which is Sprint. But I'm not sure because I don't have that device. But I'm going to show you guys how to install it. You can either press and hold down the power button and select the reboot recovery. It, but if you don't have that option in your uh, ROM, just press and hold the power button and power off your phone. Um, before you do this, just copy over the JB Sorcery version 2.1 zip the ROM to your uh, phone. I put mine in the downloads folder and then just copy over the uh, G apps. So once your phone is completely powered off, press and hold both volume keys and the power button. Keep pressing them until you feel a vibration and then this pops up. Now using volume down, go to recovery mode and then press power. And this is going to boot us into recovery. I recently flashed a twerp recovery which is a team win recovery project I'm, I'm not really liking it so far to be honest with you I prefer clockwork mod I mean it's just I just prefer clockwork mod because I've used it on almost all of my phones that I've had and it's, it's just it just loads up so much faster I mean yeah this is like integrated with the goo manager app which is a very use, useful app I mean I do use it but I don't know. I just don't really like the recovery. I mean, it's nice you can charge it and the recovery and stuff, but so you want to go to wipe, go to factory set, and swipe, swipe because I didn't get it, and it's formatting cache, and it takes a little bit longer than a uh, clockwork mod at doing stuff. All right, now go back, wipe cache, slide it over. And I am using version 2.2.2.0, or 0, my bad. Um, like, trying to flash a ROM from within the Goo Manager app, it doesn't load up in the recovery for some reason. I'm not sure about that. Once you do that, just hit the little home thingy. Go to install. So this is the Goo Manager folder, just click up a level if you're not in the right directory and then find your download now what you're going to want to flash first is the JB Sorcery Let's see if I can bring it in a little bit for you to see better JB Sorcery version 2.1 gsm.zip you're just going to want to like select that and it pulls up this make sure it's the ROM that you selected up there then you can select other stuff but I'm just going to Select that to flash it. Please download the restore mod and tools before using any mods so you will have an easy recovery method if something breaks. Setting originality since standards since 2010. This is the ROM. I was using their version 1.0. 1.0, 0, my bad, because 0 is not a number, but it was, I just, I loved it. They finally up updated it. I'm coming from um, AOKP Jelly Bean Build 1. I like that. It was a good ROM too. Now we're going to want to go back and we're going to flash GAPS JB uh, 726 2012 signed. I downloaded these twice. That's why I have a little one in parentheses next to it. You probably won't have the little one in parentheses. But I I do because I had two and if you have two files the same name it just has a little one in Windows. So, and we're going to wait for this to flash. It's almost done. Um, this is going to be the ROM that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to wipe cache. Wipe cache and Delvic again. Just to be on the safe side. This is going to be the ROM like that I'm going to be using for the next few days because, well... I'm, I'm going to be in school the next few days, so I'm not really going to be able to flash too many ROMs. So, I'm going to be using this for a few days, and then I'm going to come back with a review of it. Now I'm going to, like, you know, see how battery life is. 
AOKP kind of slowed down after a few days. Whoa. Like it was just laggy and sluggish after a few days. Not sure about that. So I'm going to try this for a few days and I'm going to see if it does the same thing. I hope it does, man, because I really love this one. Awesome looking boot animation. On their version 1.0, there was a little ice cream sandwich man for ice cream sandwich. You know, ICS version 4.0.4. He was like waving goodbye, and then he was replaced with the little jelly bean android. I thought it was kind of cool. But this is just my install video. I'm gonna. I'm going to come back with a full review after I've been using it, and I'm going to be using it a lot since I'm going to be in school and my cable got turned off, so yeah. I'm going to be using it for Netflix that I steal from my friend, and also YouTube and other stuff like that. I mean, I could use my computer, but it's, it's just easier to hold a phone to me anyways. It's just easier, so. But I, I just want to show you guys that it boots up. It does take a little bit on the first boot, so don't freak out. And here we go. Buttons kind of showed up and disappeared. I got a little G indicator up there, so that means that it's working. I'm going to go to start. Go to not now. Go to not now. Go to next. Type Brandon. Next, go to finish. And we have Apex Launcher, which is good because I love Apex Launcher. I bought the Pro version because it was so awesome. Let's go to settings, and I'm just going to show you guys that this is JB Sorcery. And as you can see right there on their mod version, JB Sorcery version 2.1. This was built on August 26th. I see what kernel it has. I'm not sure about the kernel. I'm pretty sure it just comes with like the default kernel. I'm gonna go back. It's already looking pretty smooth and fast. We have Super SU. We got the sorcery tools, Dev tools, Apex launcher, of course. Um, we got File Explorer. Looks like the MyUI File Explorer actually. And we also have DSP Manager. So. Of course it looks smooth, so I'm going to test it out over the next few days and I'm going to let you guys know what I think of it. But this was my install video.